Hello YouTube, in this video we're going to be uh, working with touches. You might already know how to do touches, but uh, I thought I'd throw it in here even though it's not really related to spray kit. Um, but uh, what we're going to do is make it so that every time the screen's touched, a ball is added, or a rectangle is created. We're going to do a couple of things before we do that though. We're going to change this to circle because we have a circle image. I don't know why I didn't just start out with using this circle function. Um, go body the circle of radius 25. And then this is create um, circle. Okay. Cool. So Let's go ahead and make that function to just begin. Should fill in some of this stuff for us already. And then, so, what that happens is every time the user clicks the screen, every time they first click touch the screen, so like, not while they're holding it down, not when they release it, right when they touch it at first, this event gets fired. Um, so, we're going to take that location See. And we're going to store it. Well, we're going to store. If there are multiple touches, then it creates multiple um, multiple array items. So. I think they we use a four, yeah. Four UI touch in all touches. <laughs> this is for each touch in the list of touches. This list of touches stores all the different locations that the screen's been touched if there are more than one. Um, for each of those we want to say like C T point. Sometimes the autofill is useful, sometimes it's kind of a pain in the ass. Ah. Sorry, I'm lame and don't remember these things because I usually copy it. It doesn't like that. Ah. Sorry. Slack in here. Okay, I didn't, um, well, here I didn't create a variable and I didn't, I didn't cast it either, but here I just didn't cast it. I didn't use the asterisk. It's kind of easy to forget that asterisk, especially if you're used to other languages. Um, but, so now we have this x and y, or this cg point variable that has an x and y value, and we can create, well, I think we have to change our function so that Instead of letting the function determine the size, which we don't even use, let's let it determine the point. Um, this one will be... That. Why is that an error? CG point param point and then this is equal to param point
Okay, so now we can, when we call this function create circle, we can choose a point to add it at. Cool. So, um, let's call that a few times self. Well, let's call that every time the touch begins. So self create circle every time the touch begins. And then we're going to create a point. Actually, we can just use a location. We don't have to have that autofill sometimes. If you don't do the right thing, it gets messed up. If you don't press tab, you press something else. It's just unimaginably painful. Oh, okay. Um, don't need the comma. And the color is going to be SK. Oh, we don't even use color anymore. Let's get rid of that parameter. Waste of code. Okay. And we'll get rid of that. Okay. So that should work now. Let's see if that works. So we're going to have our initial one. Ah. Uh, let's change this back to our image. Okay, so apparently I didn't get the memo, and location is based on the top left, and when you place something, it's based on the bottom left, not the top left, apparently. I don't know why they did that, but um, anyway, we have to um, account for that. And then we're going to do self.frame.size.height minus location.y. There we go. Yay! So apparently every time you want to use the height, along with physics or nodes, sprite kit, whatever, um, then you have to apparently subtract the location from the size of the screen. Um, yeah, so that should help you out. But look at that, we have a working little physics thing. And if we create enough of them, it gets all messed up. Maybe that one's like twitching. <laughs> all right, well, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time, and don't forget to like and subscribe.